Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And today on 5-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is Vastu. Basic Vastu. I've written a book on Vastu. There are many other good books on Vastu out there. So if you want details about Vastu, please go to this book or one of those other books. But if you are really interested in Vastu qua Vastu, then I think the most important thing to remember is that Vastu represents the organization of your reality in space. So Jyotisha is particularly interested in time. Vastu and Jyotisha are intimately related. Vastu is more interested in space. But it is influenced by all the factors that influence Jyotish. All of the gunas, all of the grahas, all of the, everything that influences Jyotish also influences Vastu. So if we're looking for really how to, how to employ Vastu in the most basic and useful sense, then the details should come afterwards and three things should come first. Number one is, and most important is, in any room of your home, or your office, and preferably in your home or your office as a whole, but especially in any room, because sometimes the way walls are organized, you simply can't get around this. In any room, the absolute center of the room should not be filled with some gigantic piece of furniture or something else, unless it is something that is somehow permitting the energy to circulate. So um, sometimes there might be a fireplace in the center of the room. This is pretty dramatic, but um, uh, but but that that's that serves the purpose of having the center of the room be a a conduit for the circulation of prana up and down at the very least. Um, preferably, though, in a room, the center, if at all possible, should simply be empty because that allows prana to move as it would like to move. And that's what Vastu is all about. It's all about making sure that the prana in your external space is circulating very well. And that means having the prana in your internal space circulating very well also. So just as in your internal space, you would like for sushumna, your central nadi, your central channel that uh, is associated with your spinal column and your spinal cord, just as you want sushumna to, be, to you, you want the prana to be able to circulate in sushumna, you don't want it there all the time, but it, you, you want it to be able to circulate in sushumna, which means sushumna has to have space available in which that circulation can occur. Similarly, in the house, you want space available in the center, preferably of the house, but definitely of every room, so that that prana can circulate agreeably. That's number one. Number two, because your house is kind of like a, an external skin, your clothing is like an extra skin. Your house is like an extra skin. Your prana is what is going to be most strongly influencing the prana of the room. And you want to make it, you, you want every room and you want your house as a whole neither to feel cluttered up, nor do you want it to feel like it is totally empty. If it's totally empty, there's nothing for the prana to interact with. If it's cluttered up, there's no space for the prana to circulate in. So you want your own self to be as have the prana circulating within you as well as possible, because when you do that, then automatically you will be able to sense when the prana is not circulating properly in your in the in the spaces of your house or your or your room. And you, by, by making sure that it's circulating best inside you, then you will also be able to sense when it is circulating well in, in, in the room. And the third thing is, if you hope that you are simply gonna be able to buy an image of, let's say, Ganapati and put it in your room and ignore it, and, and by doing that, everything will be taken care of with your Vastu, you can forget that right now, 
Because if you're going to take the responsibility of bringing an image of, let's say, Ganapati or any other image of any kind of deity or powerful being into your room and your house, that being needs to be respected. And that respect and the prana that you put behind that respect is going to facilitate whatever kind of harmonious work that that being is going to be able to do for you. And if you ignore it or worse yet, do something to aggravate it, then especially in the case of Ganapati, you should expect problems. Don't let this happen to you. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone good Vastu.